<laughs> That's the first question. Well, welcome back to our channel. Um, so I'm Genesis. I'm Chio. And, and then, <laughs> as you're doing that, um, today is a really, really fun episode because we are going to be talking about some really fun summer favorites that we picked up. Um, as we transition into fall, we're saying goodbye to summer. And of course, you thank you so much again for um, watching our very, very first video in our pilot. Yes. Um, and then of course, you um, definitely subscribe and hit the little bell button um, if you want to keep on continuing to follow us. So let's get into it. Um, yes. So I guess we'll go, so again, top five summer favorites that we had as we say goodbye to summer. What do, what do you got? What is, what is one of your favorite things? Oh, let's start with the eyeliner. Okay. I discovered this when I dumped my Kat Von D tattoo liner, and we all know why. Stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner with a micro tip. Do we do one of those things where they go? You have to. <laughs> That's really important because look at how fine that, like, the tip is. A fine tip. Um, mm. and I'm fine tip. Um, but I'm actually wearing it right now. As you can see, it's just like, like a knife. It's like a little, especially if you have hooded eyes. Like I do, or okay. like you're like if I open my eyes, you can't even tell that I'm wearing any makeup. This you can still tell because it's like super nice and smooth. I have wept <laughs> bitterly many times <laughs> with this on, and it stayed. And, and it rained. It rained on us rained. earlier as we got coffee. It's still on. Little tears, little tears, allergies. It stays. It so stays. it stays. It stays. Definitely a good replacer if you like the tattoo liner. Like. Let's see. I'm gonna go. Let's talk about. Let's talk about this first. This is one of my favorite things. So, Bilk Makeup is one of my favorite brands just because of, like, that, that minimalist type of makeup where it's, like, they still want you to look, like, like your best. Like, acknowledge that you have lizard skin and that you will forever and always look like a lizard. And that's okay. And this is the Milk Makeup Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder. What I like about this formula is that it has, like, micro, like, blurring spheres in it. So, if you're familiar with their um, blur stick, um, they use some of that technology within the powder, which is really fun. So as yeah. you actually blend it, it like absorbs some of that excess powder. Um, and then it's 31% lighter than most um, setting powders out in the market. So for someone who, myself, who is really, really dry, or if you're really dry, this could be a fantastic product for you for like either setting or if you just need like an oil blotter, this could be a really yes. fun product for you. It did have an applicator, like a, like a flat applicator that you can open and kind of dunk into yeah. it. <laughs> it's usually just kind of dab and then dab wherever that you would need blotting. Mm -hmm. um, but this is honestly one of my favorite things. I've seen a lot of really great results with this yeah. for setting my makeup, but also too not making me feel like so, so Cakey. dry, like, like yeah. cakey. It also is great for oily skin because I've used it. Yes. And it's great. You just don't have to use as much. Though I don't recommend it for, for baking because it might be too light. It didn't really do much for me. It just, I feel like it just kind of congealed, but I don't know if it was just a mixture of product. But definitely a really fantastic like setting slash finishing powder for sure. So yes, that is that is my first. Get fucking ready. Oh, oh yeah, no. of course. But I mean, oh, look at that. <laughs> Genuinely the most beautiful palette of the entire summer. Like, I, I feel like you were either team Moroccan Spice by yes. Fenty Beauty or you were team, team Ravina. I think I would like this as much because it's very like pastel, like unicorn, like a festival vibe. Sure. But even yeah. like I'm wearing it today and it's totally wearable for just like hanging out. A little bit of base, a little bit of dreamer, and a little bit of soul. And that's all that is. Just beautiful. And they always come with the dual brush, which her brushes are good. Like, not gonna lie. I use this more than like regular brushes. And you get one for free every time you get a palette. I mean, rose gold is like my favorite. Can you actually grab that back again? I just have yeah. to swatch this. No. this is, oh, it's like it's cream. It's, Look and at it. This one doesn't have a dark. Look at like, this. That's this one doesn't have like a dark, super dark crease shade like the ones that have noir in it. But God. this red, what is it? Passion functions so well as like a like in the corner. It just it it forces you to get creative, which. I appreciate that in any palette. The, the evenness between like the matte shades and yes. as well as the shimmers. All the shimmers up top and then all the mattes. Time. I think today I'm gonna pick up Sultry. So I feel like I kind of cheated. I know that I said this to you when we first filmed. Um, I kind of bundled items together as part of like collections. And I didn't, I feel like I didn't specify this when I was like, oh, let's do like a summer video. 
the oh, wound. Shit. Um, I am going with the uh, Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter, Free Sale Highlighter in the Beach Please collection. This particular collection was so much fun because I feel like with her previous highlighter collection, it was very, it was very, oh shit, I'm getting this all over the place. What happened? I'm like making all this shit dirty. I really appreciate it. I, and I know that you and I went the, the first day that this came out and I like could not decide on- It was a battle. Was this something that you picked up on our first Sephora trip? I think so, yeah. I think I picked up, I picked up Sandcastle and Mint Mojito first. This was like, <laughs> I'm reminiscing about the trip itself and you're reminiscing about picking up the makeup. I'm like, shade that I picked up, this is the Mint Mojito and Sandcastle shade. Um, super, super pigmented in terms of like that bluish green. Then you have this like, now it looks yeah. bronzy, but it's actually quite silver, which is very interesting. The like hero product of that collection, yeah. which was the Sangria Sunset and Mimosa Sunrise, which I actually picked up like, like after this one, because I thought I wasn't going to oh. use this one because of the shades, but um, I always forget that uh, I'm more like warmer and olive. Obviously these shades are going to yeah. look much better on my skin tone. I mean, they definitely did. This was such a fun, fun palette to work with. Last shake is seven, seven day weekend and poolside. It's like putting on highlighter all, all summer. Like yeah. this was by far my favorite, favorite collection of things to play with. I think if I had to pick one though, it would definitely be Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. I feel like the best way to follow that up because I feel like her collection is always so extra and like shimmer mm. and sparkle is by going with a brand that is not those things. Mm. We're going to have a bundling moment because some people cheated and I was like, me too, I guess. So the Glossier Boy Brow, mm. and this one is yours. So you, mm. you're using, are you using the same shade? Yes, brown. brown. Yeah, brown. brown. And the Lash Slick. This has always been like a, like a holy grail, like for me. I'm wearing it now. Yeah. Now that big, huge eyebrows are back in, this is beautiful because it just makes your natural brow like yes. do its thing. Yes. And I think Glossy as a brand is very much about like you. Isn't the name of the perfume? It's just about bringing out like your natural beauty. Shout out to Emily Weiss because you are that bitch. How people like reference her like, oh, remember how she was on the hills and blah, blah, blah. First of all, she was on. <laughs> Lash Lick is my new favorite of all time, of okay. all mascaras. What do we like about this? What it is this? doesn't make you clumpy. Mm -hmm. This is your everyday. This is your like going to work, going to film. The longest Ooh. brush in the history of time. And, and this is the boy brow one, in case if you needed to see that one. And there's something about this, I wish I had fucking looked it up before we, maybe I still can. Extensions without the extensions. That's literally what they call it. It has teeny tiny fibers that coat the lashes from root to tip to create a lengthened baby extension water resistant and but not waterproof it's black 94 percent of people said lash slick slash slick lash slick doesn't flake smudge or last and last all day it's conditioning it's lengthening it's water resistant so i mean if you're having like a gentle allergy to here it'll survive if you are crying oh. because you have anxiety from like your job i would not recommend that because it will smear i would not recommend that because it will smear <laughs> If you break the mascara, <laughs> I, but this is literally that kind of product. Like, it doesn't clump. Makeup remover just takes it right off. Like, I'm doing a bundling option again or moment. Um, so it is the Sikapar a Tiger Grass Color Correcting treatment, treatment by Dr. Jart, and as well as the Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint Physical Daily Defense Protection. I really appreciate about using both of these interchangeably during during that like sampling moment was that they're so interchangeable, which is fun. Um, but talking about the Dr. Jart one, um, so it's really fun. This is the smaller version. There's a larger one too, and this is like a full collection. But the idea behind this is that they are all. Um, green ooh, so really exceptionally nice too on um like days that again i feel like i had a lot of red surface tone to just kind of cancel that out before makeup or before you prime and then the um for the umber tint now i know that it's a tint in the name but it's it is like a brownish like tint like in general but it's not it's not like it doesn't tint your actual skin oh yeah it doesn't tint your skin at all so Almost if you want to like a... here you want to see like a tinted moisturizer that yeah. doesn't really 
Ooh. Yeah, it just disappears into the skin just like that. So something that I really enjoy about this is that, yes, it is an SPF, but it's very hydrating. Um, so there's a ton of ingredients inside of here that also help with moisture too at the same time, which is great. So if you are looking for something that is quite hydrating but still an SPF, or like even um, for folks who really enjoy um, nighttime SPFs, which is, I, I heard like a thing some people do in their routines, yeah. you can definitely do that there too. Or if you're dry and need an SPF. This is... The Tatcha fucking water cream. A lot of people who don't like this, it's because they're more dry and it's mm. a water cream, which ironically on the website, it literally says it's for normal oily combination or sensitive. But then for solutions, it says for dryness, pores, dullness, and uneven texture. So I'm wondering like what level of dry you have to be for this not to work for you. It's, it has Japanese okay. wild rose. It visibly tightens your pores and smooths your texture. It has Japanese leopard lily that helps control excess oil and purify skin. And then something called Hedda Say 3. It's like an anti-aging trinity of green tea, rice, and all... How do you say that word? I'm brown, I'm sorry. Algae? Algae. <laughs> um, but it, apparently it's like an anti-aging beautiful cream. Um, definitely great. There's no oil in there. It's oil-free. So great if you're super fucking oily because water. Like, so you got a little bit of that there. It's going to disappear in like five seconds. It's, it's, it's water. One. So if you're oily... Or oh, that's your so pores nice. get clogged often, which like mine do here and here. Like that is magical. That was so great. It smells really good. It feels like it's like a slight floral scent. So um, this is something I just picked up recently. Is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, stick foundation? Um, so I travel quite often for work, um, and I recently picked these up because I was like, will this be a good like travel solution for me? Yeah. And sure enough, this is fucking amazing this is great i'm wearing a little bit of it now i'm not wearing i'm not really wearing like a full full face of it but um i picked up the shade um golden and as well as the shade banana so you get a good amount of product there but this is my shade here this is a lot of like and it keeps going also super low maintenance because i watched you put it on and it took you like six minutes to like be a like full face full face just, just like a full very comfortable face like how creamy that formula is it is very, it's super, yeah. super pigmented and it blends really, really well. It is the banana shade. Yeah. So this is a really fun one too, especially if you don't want to carry around concealer. Of that like side by side, so you can kind of see them there. So like super, that. super fun. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's quite bright, but they also sell a lot of like contour sticks too. They sell cool contours and warm ones. I really recommend to blend this out with um, some of your favorite blending or uh, foundation brushes. Um, I noticed with a sponge, it doesn't really spread the product because it's not a liquid. Um, so I definitely recommend that. I'm pronouncing his name wrong the whole time because I always thought it was Ole because I'm brown. And I was like, Ole <laughs> Henriksen. Ole Henriksen. It's not Ole. It's like Uva. Literally, it's the Goodnight Glow Retinol Sleeping Creme. Mm. No, it's his creme, not cream. Really sensitive skin, but I'm also getting older. So like, <laughs> it's, I'm aging. But this, I needed something that like wouldn't like fuck up my like redness. Mm. Gentler than if you use like regular retinol, essentially. Okay. So you put it on before you go to bed and you Makes just sense. leave it. Yeah, go for it. It's thick. Look it's at this. Thick. This is just like um, a boob swatch of that. It's good for normal oily combination or dry. It's an all-in-one skin perfecting night cream made with natural retinol alternative to deeply hydrate and target fine lines, wrinkles, and dark spots. What I really like about it is when I wake up, my skin is soft. Mm. Which when you're oily, like I feel like you just assume that your skin wakes up soft, but there's a difference between oily soft and like moisture soft. Like I use it every evening and it's just, it's nice that there, to have something you can use daily that doesn't like make your skin feel like it's on fire. It's true, yes. I have rosacea and so like if I do anything too strong, it burns. Like my skin is always on fire. If you're going to use this every single night and you're out in the sun, like put a little sunscreen on, wear a hat, like do a little... The things you have to do when you're aging. And then your the last, last one. Not least at all. Well, um, I've been hunting for the perfect moisturizer, and then I landed on the Pharmacy Honey Drop Lightweight Moisturizer with Echinacea Green Envy Honey. It's so really thoughtful. gorgeous, like, wood, like, cap. Um, and then it's, a, like, a twist-off cap. And then it also gives you a metal spatula that <laughs> is magnet. Did you see that? Did you see? I really love about this formula. First of all, it's super, super lightweight. 
Um, it almost feels like your Tatcha water cream in terms of texture and consistency. It's very, very lightweight. Oh um, my god. Basically the echinacea, like like honey, um, yeah. is so that there's the echinacea flower, which is very like calming and soothing on the skin. And you have honey, which is very, very oh. hydrating and humectant. Little tiny pieces of kupwasu butter, which is an Amazonian butter that comes from um, like a very, I think it's like a root or something like that, I can't remember. Um, but it melts onto the skin basically. So as you're working this in, it's giving you more hydration and it also has hyaluronic acid inside of it too, which again is an acid that carries like most of its weight in moisture. So although lightweight, super, super, super hydrating. This is amazing. I they, thought it was gonna be way heavier than it feels. Yeah. So that kind of wraps up our top five a piece. So you actually got like 10 products. You got 10. You got more like 11 or 12. Like 12 because people cheat, but yeah. Whatever. So you got a good amount of products to kind of, um, to look at or even get curious about too from, from our summer pickups as we transition into fall. So yeah. leave us leave us some comments down yes. below. Tell us what you really enjoyed about this video. Uh, tell us what you didn't like. Um, even if you're not nice, that's fine. It doesn't matter. I'd love some suggestions too on what you would like to see next. You want to see stuff about hair? Do you want to see more makeup stuff? Like what would you like to see? We would love to see the comments down below there. And then also to subscribe, hit that bell, follow our channel. Um, you can follow us personally too on Instagram. You can follow me um, on Instagram at Ranch Dressing Blessing. And I'm at Wild and Freelance. All one word. Oh, well, that also all in one word. Just Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, all that will be um, in the description box below. And then until next time, my friends, we will see you later. Bye.